ride and ride and then we're riding, baby. Screech, say that we so crazy. I don't care, don't you ever try playing me. I ain't tight, no tits, lights. I bring it on my worst nights. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to another edition of Clickbait Media. I'm your host, Rob Season Baby. If this is your first time here, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and the notification bell. In this edition, we have this Milwaukee mother who is charged in the death of her 16-year-old son who was only 42 pounds when she took him to the clinic and he suffered from bed sores and severe malnutrition. And what I want to do is show y'all this video and then I want to come back with my thoughts on this situation. Here we go right here. Tonight at 9, a Milwaukee boy is dead, and authorities say he was emaciated due to severe malnourishment. The 16-year-old died last week weighing just 42 pounds. Aaron Maven, live in Milwaukee, with more on the person now charged in his death. Yeah, that person, Ben and Stephanie, charged for the teen's death is his mother. She's behind bars, accused of severely neglecting her son with special needs. Disturbing allegations against this Milwaukee mother. I was kind of shocked. I was like, oh, God, what's going on? What the world turning into? Irena Pizarro Osorio is facing a felony charge in the death of her 16-year-old son with special needs. Prosecutors say he died earlier this month weighing just 42 pounds. I just hate to hear about it. The 32-year-old woman told investigators her son suffered from a genetic disorder, had seizures, and could sometimes crawl to get around. She said he never weighed more than 80 pounds in his lifetime. But a few weeks ago, she says the teen's health went downhill. He was found in his room unresponsive and taken to the 16th Street Health Center. The criminal complaint says he had a faint pulse and appeared to be extremely emaciated before he died. That's kind of hurt, you know. Ah, it's really hurt real bad. See, people gotta go out like that. No one answered at the family's south side home Monday. We did notice a power chair parked outside the front door. Pizarro Osorio told authorities she never took her son to the emergency room because she was scared Child Protective Services would be called and her children would be taken. I just don't understand, man. But God take care. I know God will take care. And investigators found a lock on that child's door, but his mother says that was there so he wouldn't crawl out at nighttime. The final results, the reason for his death is still under investigation. And uh, the mother is still behind bars tonight. We're live in downtown Milwaukee, Aaron Maven. Fox 6 News. Just details to hear. Aaron, thank you. All right. So she uh, initially told investigators that she had been to Puerto Rico with her son two weeks prior to his death and had just returned earlier that day. She claimed that her son had stopped eating and she sought medical attention while she was in Puerto Rico. But she was turned down due to her not having insurance. And she also claims that before bringing her son to the clinic, she found him in his room unresponsive with blood coming from his mouth. But here's the twist. Her ex-boyfriend by the name of Jose Shadez, 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 I can't pronounce that. He arrived at the hospital and he allegedly told detectives that she had a drinking problem and that she had never even been to Puerto Rico. So it was determined that she had actually went to a wedding in Indiana, leaving a neighbor and her 18-year-old daughter in the care of her son, who died roughly two days after she returned. So she was already lying. So, when the police searched her house, they found a lock on the boy's door, which the woman admitted it to. She said she locked him in his room at nighttime to keep him from crawling out. 
Then Mrs. Osario claimed she would feed her son and then lock him in the room. But when he fell asleep, she would unlock the door and open it just in case he had a seizure. And on top of that, she claimed in the days leading up to her son's death, he had lost 15 pounds. Really? 15 pounds? All right, I'm through with all that. Because you can clearly tell that she was lying about the whole situation. The stories wasn't adding up. In a couple days, ain't nobody finna lose no 15 pounds. You lost that much weight in a couple days, yeah, you need to go to the emergency room. You ain't gonna take him to the emergency room, and yeah, you locked him in the night. What happened was, she wasn't feeding this boy. She was severely neglecting him, so she could go mingle and do whatever she wanted to do. And when he died, she was trying to lie her way out of it. Now, nah, baby, you don't got caught. Miss Osario, your son has passed away due to your neglect. And they got somewhere that they finna put you for a while. Just so you can make a thing. They gonna got them do just like they do the other examples and everything else. I'm sorry for what happened to the young man. But everybody else gotta pay. So you gotta pay too. But let me know what y'all think about this situation. How y'all feel about it. Uh, if y'all can offer any advice. To other parents that in the, in the situation, or maybe let somebody know how y'all take care of y'all special needs child if y'all have some. I'm your host, Rob Caesar, baby. This is Clickbait Media. Be sure to like, share, subscribe for more videos. And I'm up out of here. Peace. It's riding, riding, then we're riding, baby. Squeak, say that we so crazy. I don't care, don't tell I'm a trap, baby. I ain't tight, no tits, lights. I bring it on my worst nights.